son of a bitch! What the f? No! I saved your life! I'm not letting somebody else get eaten today. What kind of bullshit? Especially a good friend. All right, y'all. It's gonna be a little bit of like some some weird uh, video mid editing uh, inception here. Uh, my intro in the in the original recording, the audio kind of bugged out, so I wanted to redo the intro. But yeah, pretty much. You see the title. We're we're playing uh, the Walking Dead, the Telltale, the Telltale game series. Um, this is the definitive edition, so we'll be playing all seasons all storylines including michonne uh, and i'm going to be uploading these videos in full episodes so each episode we play it's going to be the full length video so they're going to be some pretty long videos hopefully i'll enjoy that type uh hopefully i'll enjoy the longer the longer videos um but yeah man i pretty much pretty much the only thing i said was that um but uh, yeah, like, comment, and subscribe. Um, got a lot of new people, a lot of new faces on the channel, and I appreciate y'all. Appreciate the love and support. Um, I wanted to take a break from the original content and get into some more story-based stuff that I've been planning on playing. But with that being said, man, y'all enjoy this video. Y'all looking forward to some more episodes. And if y'all want to see more story based content, let me know. Link in the, uh, what? Like, like, like the, <laughs> like the video. Comment if you want to. Uh, sub if you're new, man. Uh, but yeah, man, this is going to be a long one. So grab you some snacks. Get you a nice beverage. You know? Enjoy the show. It's going to be a movie experience for all of us. All right? Appreciate y'all. Love y'all. Get to the video. So one yeah. Nah, this dude little racist. Well, I reckon you didn't do it then. Why do you say that? Oh. Now, I've driven a bunch of fellas down to this prison. Lord knows how many. Usually it's about now I get the, I didn't do it. And what do you say? I say, yep, I know you didn't. A shotgun right there. Oh. I followed your case a little bit. You being a making boy and all. Making Georgia. You're from Macon then. Yep. Came up to Atlanta to be a city cop in the 70s. Always wanted to work a murder case. Like that senatorial mess you got yourself mixed up in. With all due respect. A real shame, that is. Hell, the whole family used to be regulars at your folks' drugstore right in downtown. Still there? Sure is. Good. Any of that seem important to you? All of it. But that box never shuts up. Sit in this seat and pay too much attention and you'll drive yourself crazy. I got a nephew up at UGA. You teach there long? 
Going on my sixth year. You meet your wife in Athens? You want to know how I see it? I got much choice? Sure don't. Regardless, could be you just married the wrong woman. <sighs> Wait, why you didn't say? Why you didn't say? You'll have to learn to stop worrying about things you can't control. Going on, man. I'm driving this man once. He he was the worst one. He wouldn't stop going on about how he didn't do it. He was an older fella, big soft eyes behind a pair of smart folk glasses. And he just wailing back there. Says it wasn't him. Crying and snotting all over right where you're sitting. Then before long, he starts kicking the back of the seat like, like a fussy baby on an airplane. And I tell him he's got to stop. But that's government property and I'll be forced to zap him otherwise. Look at the road, so he sir. stops, and having exhausted all his options, he starts crying out for his mama. Mama, it's all a big mistake. It wasn't me. So did he do it? They caught the fucker red-handed, stabbing his wife, cutting her up as the boys came through the door. He sits in my car screaming bloody murder that it wasn't him. I think he actually believed in himself. All right. It goes to show, people will up and go mad when they believe their life is over. Nice. I got another good one for you. This one's a little bit less depressing and a bit more hilarious if I do say so. Fucking drive! This other time... <laughs> Goddamn! Jesus. Jesus Christ. Eyes, man, open your eyes. Oh, shit. Thirsty. Cups. Ah, fuck. My leg. Amber. Hey, hey, officer. Are you all right? I'm still cuffed back here. He doesn't look all right. Why the hell did he have his gun out? Hold on. Damn it. All right. Take it down. Chat. I'm gonna use keyboard. Use keyboard. I need to drag myself out that window. That's gonna be interesting. Oh! I did leap out like. Your discretion is advised. Rather like it, a skull.
The officer's shotgun is over there. Spent the shell casing. It'll be easier to carry with these cuffs off. All right, you're right. I was just thinking about, you know, prioritizing safety. <laughs> Officer? Officer down. Convenient. Was that a quick time event? <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> you should just leave these on like cool uh... Officer? That shotgun immediately. Get away from me! Already got the shell. Already got the shell. Come on. Oh my god, you're fumbling. You? You're fumbling the bag. Don't make me do this! Do it! <laughs> Ask questions later, man. Or never, you know. Last one. I would still keep it, but I guess. Help! Go get someone! There, there's been a shooting! I did it. <laughs> ah! Ah! Oh, oh my. Come on, Lee. Look, just do the thriller dance real quick and you you'll look like one. Hello, anybody? By the way, chat, when I when I said in the intro that it's gonna be a full video, I meant to say each episode is gonna be its own video, <laughs> not a the whole season. I'd fill one of those teacups with some bourbon if I could. Of your alcohol. Help! Anybody up there? Help! No ladder. I'm not getting up there anyway. This leg the way it is. Hello? Anybody in there? I don't think there's anybody in there, Lee. Somebody! Yell if you can hear me! Uh. 
I wonder if anybody's home. Hello? Anybody home? I need a little help. It's gonna come in. Oh, never mind. Coming in. Don't shoot, okay? An intruder, just a murderer. One of them. <laughs> These people might need more help than I do. What y'all doing in this situation, huh? It's fake. Damn, fake. Wait. <laughs> Why the hell did, who the hell got fruit? Uh, 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 I was not expecting that to happen. Hmm. The Marshalls. That's a Savannah area code. But that's the type of note you'd leave a babysitter. Thing to, to grab this place has been ransacked just about anything worthwhile is gone what the noise <laughs> I know you ain't see what was in there. We're just opening cabinets. Not examining what's inside. What is that noise? What's that beeping? <laughs> I'm glad you heard it too. Must be uh, the fire alarm. <sighs> You even know what you just drink? <laughs> Check the faucet too. Huh? There are three new messages. Three new messages. Where's the answer? Slips again. Oh, Jesus. Hold on. Hold on. We got handprints and footprints going that way. Where's the answer? Maybe there's something on there. Maybe there's something on there. Three new messages. Message one, left at 5.43 p.m. Hey, Sandra, this is Diana. We're still in Savannah. Uh, Ed had a little incident with some crazy guy near the hotel, so we had to get him back to the ER and have it checked out. Anyway, he's not feeling well enough to drive back tonight, so we're staying an extra day. Thanks so much for looking after Clementine, and I promise we'll be back in time before your spring break. Clementine's house. Message two, left at 11.19 p.m. What was that face? Oh my god, finally. I don't know if you tried to reach us. All, all the calls are getting dropped. They're not letting us leave and aren't telling us anything about Atlanta. Please, please, just leave the city and take Clementine with you back to Murrieta. I've, I've got to get back to the hospital. Please let me know that you're safe. Message three, left at 6.51 a.m. Clementine, baby. If you can hear this, call the police. That's 911. We love you. We love you. And tell them what? We love you. Call the police and say what? <laughs> Damn. 
sense. Also, huh? Hello? You need to be quiet. Are you okay? I'm okay. They tried to get me, but I'm hiding until my parents come home. Where are your parents? They took a trip and left me with Sandra. They're in Savannah, I think. Where the boats are? Where's, where is Sandra? Where are you? I'm outside in my treehouse. They can't get in. That's smart. See? Can you see me? I can see you through the window. W Clementine. Oh! Ah! Ah! Oh! Q Q Q Q Q Q Q Q Q Q Q Q Damn! You can see the whites of their eyes. Your ass just hit your head, I mean. Start walking around with the Man, look that. Hi there. Thank you. Did you kill it? Uh huh. I think something else did. Before me, I think. I heard her scream two nights ago. Maybe one of the monsters got her. Two nights ago? Yeah, that's probably what happened. You've been all by yourself through this? Yeah, I want my parents to come home now. I think that might be a little while, you know? Oh. Look, I don't know what happened, but I'll look after you until then. What should we do now? We need to find help before it gets dark. Yeah, it's not safe at night. Safety of daylight, hell yeah. Why the hell would I go at night? Let's go. Stay close to me. Should we check the stick something like a golf club or oh there we go look at that look at that look at that oh man I ain't never getting home to mama at this rate this <laughs> sucks oh it's hot dish night something What's the matter? Should I stay? What? I don't want to sleep in the treehouse tonight, but I don't know if I should leave. What if my parents come home? I won't leave you alone. Well, let's go somewhere safe that's close, okay? That's a good idea. Hey, man! Holy shit! 
Don't eat us. We're not gonna hurt you. It just look like I'm yeah. a zombie, but I'm for a second, you and the little one were both gonna give us the chomp. We need help. Are you trying to get out of here? Because you should be. Those things are all over the damn place. I haven't seen anything as gnarly as this neighborhood since downtown Atlanta, 15 miles back. I'm Sean. Sean Green. Lee, this is Clementine. I'm Chet. We shouldn't be out in the open like this. How about you help us clear the way, and we'll take you and your daughter out of here and down to my family's farm. It should be safer there. I'm not a dad. I'm... Just some guy. Some guy? Yeah. She's alone? Let's get going. Staying put for too long is a mistake. What do you want to do? I... I'm gonna try to make the best decisions possible. The monster's coming. We gotta go. Leave quick. Let's go. I'm still able to do this now. Oh, look at Clint helping out. I'm just, just some guy. Right it seems like you saved a bunch of lives today. It was funny when this game came out. I was living in Atlanta. I do understand that the Walkman series is based in Atlanta. Show. I'm gonna run on home. My mom was gonna be in a snit. No sweat, man. I'll catch you tomorrow night. I haven't watched it was the newest nice season. to meet you both. And that kind of started season 10. I think that's the one I left off. Of. Thank God you're okay. I was worried it'd be bad here, too. Been quiet as usual the past couple days. Old Brecken down the way thinks his mare's gone lame, but that ain't nothing new. I wouldn't have made it back without Chet. Well, I'm glad you took him with you then. You've brought a couple guests. Mm -hmm. a life Your saver. boy's a lifesaver. Glad he could be a help to somebody. So it's just you and your daughter then? Oh, not his daughter. He's, well, just some guy who found her alone. Honey, do you know this man? Yes. Okay, then. Appreciate it, Clint. Well, looks like you hurt your leg pretty bad there. Uh, yeah, it's not doing so good. I can help you out. Sean, run on in and check on your sister. You, take a seat up on the porch and I'll go see what I have. Let's have a look. Yeah. This is swollen to hell. Could be worse. That's what it sounds like. Seems like things got awful bad in the cities. What did you say your name was? Lee. It's Lee. Nice to meet you, Lee. I'm Herschel Green. Oh, this is Herschel? I was about to make the joke that that was Herschel, but, uh... How'd this happen? I didn't want to, you know... Car accident. That's so. Where are you headed before the car accident? Out of Atlanta. Home. Where's home? I grew up in Macon. We hit a guy. One of those things you've been hearing about. On the road. Who were you with, the girl? I was with a police officer. He was giving me a ride. Awful nice of him. I'm an awful nice guy. House is full up with mine. We got another displaced family of three sleeping in the barn. 
You and your daughter are welcome to rest there when we're done here. I didn't catch your name, darling. Clem... Clementine. Can't imagine what you've been through, Clementine. I'm looking after her until we uh, find her parents. Hey, Dad. So I'm thinking, first thing tomorrow, we got to reinforce the fence around the farm. That doesn't seem necessary. I don't know what you saw on TV or heard on the radio, but there's some serious shit hitting the fan. I don't think anyone knows how big it is yet. So wait, does this follow the storyline of the show? Your son's right. You're going to want to fortify this. Place. Or is this for old Stuff story like that line doesn't around here, Sean? Dad, I'm serious. Lee, come on. Herschel's Tell him what you saw out there, younger man. In this. And also, he has sons and a daughter. I watched a man let himself get run over without blinking an eye. Well, do what you think you should. We got plenty of chores as it is. Lee and those folks in the barn can help out in the morning. We got to do it. Really. I already said okay. Well, I'm all done here. It should start to feel better tomorrow. Thanks. If your leg gets hot or the swelling doesn't go down, you're probably dealing with an infection. What do we do to read the graphic novel? They'll probably just have to shoot you. Damn. We'll clean it, redress it, and you'll be fine. Okay, that'd be preferable. There's blankets and such in the barn. We'll be seeing you bright and early. Come tomorrow, which way you think you're headed? Towards making, I suppose. All right, then. It smells like... Shit. Uh. <laughs> I'm sorry. I shouldn't talk like that. That was a swear. I miss my mom and dad. I bet, Clem. How far is Savannah? Pretty far. Oh, okay. Almost went to Savannah too for a uh, college. Almost. I love you, baby. <laughs> Hey, get up. <sighs> I'm itchy. Well, you slept in a barn, little lady. Lucky you don't have spiders in your hair. <laughs> but I bet your daddy scared them all away, huh? I'm, There's some uh, guy. Not her dad. Name's Lee. I'm Kenny. Dad, we're in the middle of fence. There's this a tractor and everything. Oh, my God. Oh. We better get oh going. Oh, my God. We I'm won't sorry. Hear the end of Flashbacks. It. <laughs> That's my boy, Ken Jr. We call him Duck, though. Dodging or quacking? Quacking. Dad! See? <laughs> the word is you were on your way to Macon. My well, family's from there. Well, Macon's on the way, and personally, I'd appreciate the company of a guy who can knock a couple of heads together if he has to. You do that. Sure, we'll tag along. It's a plan, then. Honey, Duck, this is Lee. And, uh, what's the girl's name? Clementine. Clementine. That is a very pretty name. Thanks. Well, we should get to work. We've all seen what those things can do out there, so the faster we get this fence up, the better. I want to build a fence. Yeah? Well, I need a good foreman. You can sit on the tractor and yell at me whenever I take a water break. <laughs> on the tractor? Cool! Duck and I will hop to it. I can keep an eye on your little girl here on the porch. We can visit. Just some dark. Oh, I'm walking fine now, huh? Sprint! Hold on. Look at that power walk. Look at that power walk. 
hit. By the way, I'm filming this on the 4th of July, so if some random pops and bangs uh, are heard in the video, it shouldn't, but. How you doing, Doug? Y'all see Good. me look over I'm gonna drive the tractor. And it's a massive I'm the explosion. Foreman. Lift with your back, Sean. Or gunshot. You know how to drive it? Sure don't. I can give you a hell of a critique of the U.S. Farm Bill, though. I'm good. Sean's still working on that fence. Hey, Lee. Need a hand? That'd be great. If you could cut those two bys to length, that'd sure speed things up. Gotcha, bud. Put twice, measure once. Didn't even measure. My dad doesn't know how bad it is. No, he doesn't. I saw a guy in Atlanta kill a kid. A boy. Just shot him right in the face. He didn't need that backstory. Damn. Oh shit, damn. He didn't even hesitate. He just turned, put the barrel of the gun right between the kid's eyes, and pulled the trigger. You don't see things like that. It's not like in the movies. They don't sound, fall like you think. It sound like something else. Did you have to do it? Do what? Kill. Have you had to off one yet? Oh. Uh... Ooh. Had it off two of them. Sometimes it's kill or be killed. I guess. I don't think I'd sleep good after that. I'm just glad we're getting this fence. I don't think built. I wanted to say Dad that. I just wants to keep the family safe and thinks inviting people in is a bigger threat than whatever's out there. How about yours? How's your family? My brother and parents are in Macon. I hope. Oh man, I hope so too. Maybe it's not too bad there. That's probably all I need cut for now. Thanks. Hey there, girls. You two actually look relaxed. I think we're doing just fine. Clementine was just telling me about first grade. Oh, uh, how's that? It's easy. Well, yeah. <laughs> so, you're good? Anyway, it's almost like we didn't see people eating each other for the past three days. It's peaceful here, no? So, uh, what do you do when corpses aren't walking around? <laughs> I'm a veterinarian back in Fort Lauderdale. Like Herschel here, except more with dogs and cats and uh, not horses. What is it that you do, Lee? I used to teach up at the University of Georgia. We need to hope that we can go back to our jobs soon, Lee. Back to normal. It can't stay like this. Well... Uh, yeah. My mistake. We'll all be home soon. How did you handle getting through the city? Kenny just drove. We passed so many people that needed help, and we just passed people over some. Just, just. Uh, it's okay. It's fine. You don't have to. He literally anymore. ran them over. I want like... to go home tomorrow, but even then, I can't take away the things we, the things Doc went through. Don't you want to go back to the moment before you knew about all of this? This could all be providence, you know? Not what we saw. You just never realize when something is happening to you, what you're being given. Maybe this will all work out. Your optimism is refreshing. New. These past couple days, at least. Back in a bit. Okay, Lee. You having a nice time with Katya Clementine? Yeah. The mattos. Okay, in it. 
It's not the most reliable pickup in the world, but it gets the job done. Hey there, uh, Kenny. Need any help? No, I think I got it. Do you need any help? What do you mean? Well, I mean in taking care of that little girl. You know what you're doing? You got kids of your own? I have no idea what I'm doing. At least you're honest. Shit. Better than I was when Duck showed up. <laughs> You'll figure it out. How's your son doing? Good, I think. kachi has got a sister up in Memphis. We were coming back from visiting her. We were in a gas station and some guy grabbed my boy. I thought he was kidnapping him. I was on the fucker in about two seconds and... Christ. Just lucky I was there. We saw a lot of bodies before we stumbled upon Herschel's. Uh, we're a tough family, Lee. Ain't nothing gonna phase us. I got some questions, man. Was your son bit? Were you bit? Did anybody bit? Need to know. So what's your family's plan? Get back on down to Lauderdale and let this mess get sorted out. Government will start handing out shots and the National Guard will do its thing. On the odd chance things got too bad, we could hop on my boat, I guess. You've got a boat. I'm a commercial fisherman, catching mackerel, dolphin, whatever's biting and paying. Katya wouldn't be wild about it, but the boat's not that bad. See ya. See? Maybe go check on my dad in the barn. I was just at the barn. Oh, <laughs> Looking like that hurts. How'd you get out of Atlanta? I drove. I got a ride and then I was in a wreck. I walked until your boy found me. Hmm. Well, you're no worse for wear. Uh, this farm's a nice plot of land. Huh. Had you told me 20 years ago I'd still be doing this, I would have told you that you were full of crap. Never was a plan, having a place like this. It was in the family, and I guess so was I. Family's important. It's all that matters. You agree with that? Was brought up to, yes. Where's your family now? Parents? Wife? Girlfriend? My parents are in Macon, with my brother. Well, I hope they're all right. But now you've got this little girl to take care of. Clementine, is it? You just stumbled up on her? It happens, right? Yeah. I was looking for help in her house. Hmm. Can I give you a piece of advice? I don't know who you are or what you did. Let's say things don't get better back in the cities, or they get worse before they do. You're gonna have to depend on the honesty of strangers if you're gonna make it. And if those same people get to questioning yours, you're gonna be in trouble. And another thing, you're gonna have to figure out how to answer a goddamn question when someone asks. What do you think I've been doing? Go! I'll get my gun! What the fuck? As much as I don't want to, it's a kid. Are you 
running. Oh, fuck. Oh, well. Damn it, Kenny. Get out. Get the fuck out of here! I'm sorry. Sorry? Your son is alive. You don't get to be sorry. And you! You didn't even try to help. What you mean? I thought I could help them both. You thought wrong. And now? Please. Just go. Okay, Herschel, how would you have felt Get if the out kid got eaten? And never come back. Come on now, man. Think about it. It's your fault. Why'd you run? <laughs> We've got that ride to make it if you want it. Oh. Need a Herschel shotgun, man. Damn. Well, this is as far as we're going. Then it's far enough. I don't know how I feel about it. Look! Hey there! You friendly? Trucks run out of gas. It is an idiot. Fuck! No survival awareness. I swear if this We can't take risks like this. And we can't just let people die either. When I say that door stays shut no matter what, I fucking mean it. We don't know who these people are. They could be dangerous. Worse, they could have let them right to us. Where the hell is your humanity? They would have died out there. We have kids with us. I see one little girl. Uh, what is it? I... I have to pee. I'd go out there again in a second. I bet you would. In a minute, Cleo. They've got kids, Lily. Those things outside don't care. I don't Maybe like you should you go join them girl. Then. You'll have something in common. God damn it, Lily. You have to control these people. Carly and Glenn just ran out there. I don't give a flying fuck. We're in a war zone. She's the leader here. But it looks like she's losing control of her people. If you were in my shoes, you'd be the... Holy shit. Son of a bitch. One of them is bitten. He wasn't bitten. Hell, he wasn't. We have to end this now. Over my oh dead my body, God. we'll dig one hole. Ogre looking no, dude. Bro. I'm cleaning him up. There's no bite. He's fine. Don't you fucking people get it? We've already seen this happen. We let someone with a bite stay in, and we all end up bitten shut up. We gotta throw him out, or smash his head in. Kenny, stop him! Hey, what do we do about this guy? Dad, it's just a boy. It, it's... Lily, I'll handle this. But your heart, Dad. You need to calm down. We kick his ass. That's what I'm thinking. <laughs> Everyone, chill the fuck out! Nobody is doing anything. Shut up, Lily. And you, shut the fuck up. 
They will find us, and they will get in here, and none of this will fucking matter. But right now, we're about to be trapped in here with one of those things! What the hell are you talking about? He's bitten! That's how you turn! He's not bitten! Lee, stop this! It's upsetting him! Oh, I'm upsetting him! Upsetting is getting eaten alive! Sit down! That's it. You're gonna whoop me? <laughs> you and what homo parade? Damn, bro! <laughs> That's good. Little boy, before you eat your mommy, you can watch your dad get his nose broken. I'm gonna kill him, cat. Just Do worry it. about Duck. Lee! Yeah? There's someone in there. It's just locked. Key's behind the counter. Probably. Oh, yeah. Hey, I'm not the bad guy here. I'm just looking out for my daughter. No, you're just the guy arguing for killing a kid. He's covered in muck. She'll find the bite. Watch! She won't. And if she does, the first thing he'll do is sink his teeth into his mom's face. Then, once she's dead, he'll probably pounce on your little girl. She'll turn fast. And then, there'll be three. It's a little boy. I think we can handle it. A little boy? He'll be an uncontrollable man-eater. It's not gonna happen. It is. Can somebody hey, punch him in his big-ass nose? Uh... Wait, wait. Knock this guy out. Happily. Jesus. Oh my god. Hit him better. <laughs> oh. Jesus! Oh my god, bro. Lee. Lee, get up. You 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 already hit your head once, bro. Come on. Get away from her, you son of a bitch! Yeah, oh, my finger twitch. My finger twitch. Oh, fuck. Jesus. Man. He's not the best place. You okay? Hell yeah. Just great, thanks. Uh, guys? We're gonna get in, shut up! That's a weak-ass punch, I don't know. Thank God for whatever it is. We almost died because of this bitch and a Richie trigger finger! That was stupid! That was... Uh, uh, Dad! Ah! Ah! It's a heart attack, yes! I did try to get him to calm down. Can it, asshole? Oh. It's his heart. My pills. Um, nitroglycerin pills? Yes, we're out. We've been trying to get into the pharmacy since we got here. Please try to get in there. Behind well, now you the want counter my help. where the pills are. There's probably another entrance. Maybe through the office. How do you know that's an office? Uh, educated guess. It doesn't Owned matter. pharmacy? We need nitroglycerin pills. Please get in there. I'll keep an eye on my dad. Everyone else should get comfy and look for anything useful. We could be in here a while. I'm starting to think this drugstore isn't a permanent solution. You're right. Good. Should you be scouting? exactly Fort Knox. What do you suggest? We need as much gas as possible so we can all get out of downtown Macon. Fast. Agreed. Then I'll head out and get gas. There's a motel not too far from here, out towards the end of Peachtree. I'll work my way towards it and then loop back, siphoning what I can. I'm rooting for the old man's death. Sorry. You know your way around? Local? Born and raised. If you're gonna do that, here's a walkie-talkie if you get in a tight spot. Hopefully, you won't need it. Cool. Clementine's got the other one. Check in with her and get back here as soon as you can. And you? What's your name? It's Lily. My dad's Larry. I don't give Keep a, a good eye on him. These boys will work on getting you your medicine. <laughs> That's right. But damn. And you, you keep an eye on that front door. You're our lookout. It's Doug. You got oh, it. You. And I'm Carly. Okay, Carly. You'll shift in with Doug when he needs it. For now, get some rest. You're a good shot, and I'd like to keep it that way. You got it, boss. Now get him those pills. I go lot of Kenny, man. You disappoint me, but I guess you got the got the 
people under control a little bit. Take that. You're a pretty good shot. Well, you don't fuck with a reporter, especially one that's three days out from her last cup of coffee. You have a gun. You seem to handle yourself pretty well. <laughs> really? I'm a disaster. I can't tell. My I'm news editor was eaten about five feet away from me, and I would have joined her if it wasn't for that dorky guy on watch over there. I'm sorry. She was an asshole, but, you know. Yeah. What are you messing around with there? A radio. I can't get it to work, though. Here, let me have a look. Oh, there are no batteries in this thing. What now? You know that there are no batteries in that thing. Yeah, of course. I mean, yeah. No. I can try to find some. Needs two. Thanks. Blaze, I blaze. wouldn't even really know what to look for. Does she not know what batteries are? Ain't giving you no damn food. <laughs> uh. <laughs> the it IT guy. Heard or seen anything? Nothing, luckily. Wanna step outside, have a look around? <laughs> I'm not suicidal yet. No, the gate out there is closed. We can hang out in front of the store and be fine. Oh, uh. Yeah, no. Uh, Good. not right now. All right, let me know if you want to. Good, bro. You want to, though. Go for it. No, I'm sorry to hear your loved one was eaten by the living dead cards. We can't let anything happen to Ducky. I know, hon. At this point, Ducky's a liability. <laughs> Apple? We just need to get back to Fort Lauderdale. We'll do our damnedest. This dude is holding off a long ass time with this heart attack. I don't remember them very well. But it's your place. Gotta get some rest, hon. How can I with those things out there? It's not much, but here for the boy. Oh, thanks, Lee. He appreciates it. That's sweet, Lee. I don't know why. It's all melted now. Trying to stay on the right people's good sides, I guess. I just grab. Oh. Oh. Shit. I'm, I'm, I'm stashing, okay? I didn't realize there would be more. Why are y'all not eating this shit? Man. It's not much, but here you go. Thank you. Of course. Not damaged. Glad this place didn't get looted. Stash, bro. That. The pills are in there. Pills here. Emily. I 
was joking earlier when I said pop. What's that? This is my dad's cane. He'd zip around here on it from time to time. Was he sick? Nah, he was okay. I actually saw him whoop shoplifters with it. <laughs> this cane's protected this place better than any guard dog ever could. Plus, he knew how to make it look cool. When he used like it. you with your hat. My dad gave it to me. See, dad's just smart like that. I ought to clear a path to opening that door. We ought to clear this door for when we find the keys. Everyone out there seem all right to you? Yeah. Well, maybe not the sick guy. Yeah. We'll keep an eye on him. Well, there was that thing in the bathroom. It tried to get me. I know. But you stopped it. Yeah, I did. Can you do that more? <laughs> well, I'm not gonna go looking for him. I mean, get the dangerous ones. I'm gonna try. Good. Have you heard from Glenn? Not in a little while. I'm gonna keep looking around. Okay. I better not go out there. First aid kit. Luckily, there's nothing I need in here. There's a photo over there. Why? Find anything? professor at Athens who killed a state senator who was sleeping with your wife. This is your parents' store. Folks around town know the owner's son got himself a life sentence, but I'm a reporter for WABE in Atlanta. What the fuck? I paid attention to that trial. Maybe you're a murderer, but I don't really care. Frankly, that's a skill that might come in handy. <laughs> Did you tell anyone out there who you life were sentence. or that you were tied to this place? seem like an okay guy, and the last Who's thing the we senator? need is drama out there. Who the senator? You've got a girl to take care of, and look, Damn. don't make me wrong on this. I don't plan to. Good, because if this lasts longer than a few days, and you're a detriment to the group, then we'd have a problem. I hear you. I'll just keep it to myself. How can I trust you? You can't, I suppose, but you don't have many other options. Have you heard from Glenn? Not in a little while. I'm gonna keep looking around. Okay. I didn't realize how intense Lee's background was. I sent it. Better get this door clear, huh? Can I help? Sure. Here we go. Watch your fingers in the drawers. How are you doing? Yeah, it's not that heavy. How about with everything outside? It's not good. No, it's not. But I think it'll be okay. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Do you have kids? No. You don't have a family? doctor and my dad is an engineer 
Those are good jobs. If What's your job? I uh, rich. teach history and writing and things like that. Like, um, social studies? Yeah, like that. You didn't answer my question. <laughs> All right, a little further. <sighs> Why don't you want to talk about your family? Do they, like, hate you? Them, right? Yeah, of course. Look, my family's gone, and I just wish things would have been different. Yeah. I got into some trouble, and I didn't talk to them for a while. This used to be their store. But let's just keep that between you and me, okay? Okay. Because of the trouble? Yeah, that's right. Let's get this done. <laughs> Lee kind of a badass. Ow! Are you okay? I hurt my finger. Is it bleeding? It's a lot of blood. A little. I'll find you a bandage. Better be something that first aid kit. Let's see if we can do something about it. Let's get this cut covered up. Yes, please. Guess I'm missing still with me. Lee? Yep. Yeah? What if my parents come home and I'm not there? They'll, uh, track us down. Don't worry. Yeah, okay. We should keep a lookout. I've got my walkie-talkie in case they try that way. Stay close to me until then, okay? Just hit me in the fields, man. to the pharmacy. We should be able to find pills for Larry in there. It's locked. We need to track down the keys if we're gonna help Larry. I don't want to help him though, to be honest with you. into the drugstore with me. Okay. These wouldn't be in there, though. Lee? Mm hmm Yeah? You're not bad, right? I, uh, Why are you asking me that? That lady said you killed someone. Was that because he was one of the things trying to eat you? No, he 
wasn't. Oh, was he bad? He lied to everybody else but Clemmy was. He was a very bad guy. Hey there, uh, this is Glenn, and uh, I'm kind of in a jam here. Uh, little girl, if you're there, can you put your daddy on the phone? Or on the talkie or whatever? This is Lee. What's up? So, I'm down at that motor inn, and, well, uh, I'm stuck. Stuck? Yeah, I uh, uh, saw a chance to get some supplies for the group. And a bunch of the Roman ones got the jump on me. I'm hiding over here, but they won't leave. What's up? Glenn's trapped down at the motor inn. Hey, Glenn. We're gonna talk it over and send a group to come get you, all right? <sighs> awesome. I'll sit tight till then. Sounds good. I'm gonna hold on to this until we get Glenn back, okay? I'll take good care of it. What do you think? I think Doug's not great around zombies. And you've got your family here. I'll take Carly and her dead eye down to the motor inn, get Glenn, and get back here as fast as I can. If that's what you want to do... Somebody's got to. Yeah, I'm in. Good. Doesn't sound too bad there right now. Let me know as soon as you want to head out. Let's not worry about that dude who, needs, who apparently needs pills right now. Need that man. Looks like nobody got a chance to donate anything before this all went down. This battery should fit the radio. Great, thanks. One more. Hey, Carling. You ready to head out? You got it. You? Yeah, these. Yeah. Let's go. Sneeze averted. Get down. Those dreads? <laughs> Look at dreads. Did you see that? Sure did. Be ready to shoot. That wasn't so hard. Can we get out of here before any of these things notice us? Not yet. There's a survivor trapped up there. No way. We gotta go. Now. Listen, I was out here looking for gas. And then, up there in the corner room, I heard crying coming from inside. Who is it? It's a girl. We talked and she got frightened. I was trying to get in and help her and she started yelling and saying I was bitten. I tried to convince her I wasn't and that's when all these guys came out of the forest. A couple almost got me, and I ended up hiding in the ice machine. Lucky you. Now let's go. We can't just leave her. Damn right we can't. You guys are suicidal over a girl. I'm saving her, with or without you. Think about it if it was you. Another point. Fine. Let's go save Glenn's damsel in distress. <laughs> the drone camera? Send. The 
issue is with that one though. None of us have a melee weapon. What was that? Pillow. There's a pillow over there. That's about as far as I got when it came to supply gathering. I might have an idea for it. What, smother it with the pillow and then use the gun as a suppressor or some shit? I don't know. Good luck smothering them to death. That's not really what I have in mind. Let me see your gun. I, I don't know what you have in mind. Uh, all right, let's let's go this way. <laughs> Just go back and forth. What the fuck? Smothered. Some other shit ain't gonna work. There's one there, there's one by the the left side. We're a little naked out here, except for Carly's gun, and we can't use that much. Yeah, I don't know why I thought we would have done something different. Like throw the pillow somewhere. Traction. Not like this. Not gonna be able to smother a damn zombie? Alright, you know what? Hold up, hold up. Thinking, man. He wasn't corner peeking. I wonder if there's anything in the pickup. Get up. Not the fucking smother. I'm gonna smother a damn. You drive. Use pillow? What the fuck? What are you gonna do with that? I don't really know. Do you have any tricks for getting into cars? Not without tools, or making a bunch of noise, and none with pillows. I think I found a pretty damn good way to stop these guys quietly. Now we just have to get it quietly. I'm not. The, the options we have are terrible. I'm like, the scenario we're in right now does not make sense. I've got a pillow, and I, I don't want to punch it. I think I found a pretty damn good way to stop these guys quietly. Now we just have to get it quietly. Hey, there's, there's nothing quiet about shattering glass. We can do something with that car, I bet. There's no way I'm gonna be able to smother it. What the hell do I do? There's nothing here that sounds good. I'm gonna go this way. Even want to attempt it. Open door. I 
love this gun, but it sure isn't quiet. That one sitting down is just as dangerous as the others. Well, they're all making no non-helpful suggestions. Right? Chat. Uh. Ow. Hey man, that drew some attention. Be careful. I'm done trying to punch out window. <laughs> oh my god. I ain't doing no edit too. Y'all gonna sit up here and, and, and watch this shit happens. Shit happens. Y'all gonna y'all gonna watch this with me, man. Like It's not a good way either. Bruh, what the fuck? That's what I was hoping would happen. I just didn't think that it would happen. Break the window, but it won't be quiet. It's a spark thing. Spark plug. You should hold on to that. Come in handy. All right. I'm curious as to why he didn't know what a spark plug was. Oh my god, a fire axe! Please let me get that. It was awesome. <laughs> That was the slowest death. I still think we should take care of that one. But I don't think we had the smother option for that. There's a pig in the truck. Um, let's go back over here. Got the smother option for that other zombie. Eating your dinner. Oh, you wasted the pillow. Let me see the spark plug. 
porcelain inside these things turns car windows to tissue paper. Isn't that what he was about to do? You mean to tell me I was worried for nothing. That could scramble a brain pretty good. That's exactly what I was thinking. Coming for you, bitch. And that fire. If y'all don't grab that fire axe, by the way. Kill a machine now. Didn't think he was gonna whistle. Give the brain. Give the <laughs> mother. Are you serious? <laughs> Are you serious? I was looking for the most opportune time, bro. Oh. Well, boy, shit happens. Let's head back to that wall. Save there. I was thinking that maybe it would like angle up towards the brain, you know? Didn't. I didn't want it to be like too far away either. All right, see, like I said, why would you aim for the heart? Dude, where'd your weapon go? Into that ice big sized hole. <laughs> Holy shit. It's cool. Now we've got this. Are you two done? Two more. That should help. Yep. You better not lose this one. By you, I mean me. Why don't you guys lag behind just in case this goes to hell? Okay, we'll be right behind you. To be honest, though, never mind. I was about to say she could just shoot too quick, you know? But, uh, might be more in the area. So, be a good idea. I need two quick squint two quick swings out of you. Swing! Swing! What are you doing? Oh my god. <laughs> What's up with the luck slow ass wind up? Damn. Do the temple. Scout. Here's Johnny. Hello in there. We're here to help. Please just go away. Let's go, guys. In a minute. If you open up, we can take you somewhere safer. We've got a group in town. No, no, no. Please. She's in trouble. No. Miss, we're coming in. You're starting. Like you, you might, might want to a... break through that board first. <laughs> like you don't have an axe in your hand. That's a good swing, though. Coming out. All that, all that, all that. What the hell's wrong with you? Hurt. Oh God. I, 
I said stay away. We need to get you help. It's too late for that. Guys, she's been bitten. What? I told you, I said go away. I'm bit. Why well, didn't you just say that? Leave. Let's calm down. If you had said be I'm bit, I'm we would have been be like, fine. okay. My boyfriend was bitten. You get sick and you die and, and you come back and you kill anything you can find. You have a boyfriend? What? Oh. I don't want that. It's not Christian. Please. It's not Just Christian. Just leave me. Please go. Uh, okay. I ain't we'll bringing you with me. Just try to take care of yourself for whatever time you have left. You have a gun. I do. So can I Hell no. borrow it? What do you mean borrow? Give it to me? I can just, you know, end this, and then, and then there's no problem. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Please, I don't want to be one of them. They're, they're satanic. I'm sorry. We can't let you do that to yourself. <laughs> then do it for me. We need to get going. I just don't want to spin the bullet. Please. This is crazy. Please, step back. It's just two seconds, just one bullet. And I can be with my family. Just one bullet, she says. Home. You know how gold bullet is yes. in Walking Dead? Back up. Please. Oh, well, great. Whoa. No way you that strong. Whoa, take it easy. You just want to help. You can't. I ain't. Miss. Just relax now. You need to think this through. We'll find you a doctor. It'll be okay. Let's all just... No! 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 Please! That bullet is expensive! <laughs> On Glenn? Let's get out of here. She wasted a bullet. Sorry. I'm sorry. She didn't waste a bullet. But. Shit. Here they come. Get in. We had a car. Everyone all right? Yeah, we had some close calls, but Glenn is fine. And well, yeah, we're OK. I've got a few cans of gas for your pickup in the trunk of my car. Good to hear it. And things back here? Quiet. Our friend is still in and out over there. He won't survive any more stress. The next order of business is getting those pills out of the pharmacy. All right. Find the keys, right? Oh. oh. Does the remote have batteries in it? I found this remote in the office, but I'm pretty sure the batteries won't fit. It needs the big stumpy ones. Yeah, these are no good. I, you know, I, I figured that would be the case, but I was hoping you would have said it first. You would have, like... Here you go. Here, I found some snacks. I'm Gotta cool. save you for Negan. Not much of an appetite. Maybe save it for one of the kids. Okay. <laughs> that was a terrible joke. I'm sorry. I read these where we can give you shit. Time to register. We get back. And here's another one. Should be able to get it to work now. I hope. So. I don't know what you need it for, though. Uh... 
go through here and the keys are in here somewhere. Yep, so. What they be? Oh, no need no key. It is, I guess. Can we put this damn remote down? Central High Tech State. Papers a week old. Feels like years. God damn. There's no getting in there from out here. That great does its job. Got them thundering outside. Bruh. It's still not working? Yeah, I can't figure it out. Let me have a look at that thing. Go ahead. Look at it again and maybe keys will fall out. Battery's probably old. She put him in wrong. <laughs> As the unknown affliction continues to spread on the estimated death toll continues to skyrocket. WABE urges you to stay it's, indoors and avoid any not contact with like individuals that. you suspect may have been exposed. The no station is okay. In the event of a full uh, uh, my, my producer's telling me we have to get off the air. Steve. Uh, WABE wishes you and your loved ones. God bless you all. How's he doing? I'm not sure I got your name. It's Lee. Lily, my dad. This is a hard ass. I don't give a damn about your dad. I was just doing what I had to earlier. Everyone was. Now his heart's acting up again, and I'm powerless to do anything. And that violence before with my dad, that didn't help. I don't give a damn. He deserved it. What's wrong with him? He's got a heart condition. He takes nitroglycerin tablets pretty regularly. I've seen a few bad attacks that he couldn't get over and needed to go to the hospital. Yeah, that's uh, not really an option right now. I'm just trying to keep him relaxed. He's got a temper. Ah, fuck you. Hmm. Yeah, he doesn't mean it. I don't it's believe that. that. Yeah. We've got kids here. Family. He and I are a family. I'm just saying some people can't handle a temper like that. Hell, barely seems like you can. It's just his way. Don't make him the reason everything's screwed. Where's her mom? Savannah, I think. Oh, you guys aren't together. Oh, uh, no, I'm not her dad. I found her in a house when getting out of Atlanta. She'd been surviving by herself. I think the girl's parents didn't make it. Oh. I heard an answering message. They were in Savannah. She was home with a sitter. It wasn't good. Well, she's lucky to have you. I didn't ask for all this conversation. I'm just looking for some goddamn keys. I'm gonna get back to him. Sounds good. Doing, Glenn. You know. What's your story, Glenn? I deliver pizzas around here. I brought a couple to the Everts a few times. Sorry, I mean the folks that own this place. Just really good people. It sucks seeing this place like this. Isn't that the truth?
back the motor in. How can it be that bad so fast? You know, when things are taken away, people do crazy shit. I guess. But that's not me. I'm not giving up. Not for anything. Good, man. Good. <laughs> I guess she really wanted that gun. Seems like. Why didn't you tell Carly to just give it to her? Pause. People can't be given up. This will pass. I'm with you. I'm glad to hear it. Try to get some rest. <laughs> yeah, right. Maybe this is all just propaganda, you know? There's so many people going into Atlanta nowadays. Georgia in general. Maybe they just want us to not go to Georgia no more, you know what I'm saying? Where the hell are these damn keys? Hey, Lee. Maybe punching him wasn't such a good idea. Are you, you know telling me like plans? you didn't do it? Says the guy who didn't get punched in the mouth. Anyway, we, Kat and I, Should appreciate your support. Thank you, Lee. How's Duck doing? He's okay. It was just a shock. We're lucky as hell nobody got nabbed on the way in here. No kidding. How's she doing? She's good, I think. She's a tough one right there. She's just a little girl, Ken. What are you saying, Lee? She spent days surviving on her own? That's mm -hmm. right. Not just any little girl can do that. Lee, you got a second? Sure. <sighs> Did you find keys? Back on Herschel's farm. Yeah. Yeah, you left. We didn't even try to save him. That blood is on our hands. Don't say know? we! What do you mean, we? It happened pretty fast. Don't put I me guess. in this! You're the one who ran! I can't him in my head. We can't kill ourselves over We him. killed that boy. Who's we? We saved him together. <laughs> we did what we could. I yeah, had we one option. We didn't make a choice at killing Your Sean. boy or that boy? You think you do when you look back on it. But in a moment, when things are really out of control, you don't have any choice. I don't... I don't like this I guess. It's all we shit, bruh. Trying to let it go. Damn, bruh. Put me in your predicament. We. It's crazy. Where the keys? <laughs> oh my god. Want to go have a look around outside? Let's have a look around. Okay. Have a look around. Maybe the keys wandered off on their own. Jesus. You good? Did they smell us? Smell something? They just eat. As far as I can tell, that's all they care about. And if one gets you. They eat you. And whatever's left comes back as one of them. How the fuck? I think it might be more than a couple days before all this gets sorted out. Yeah. I think so. Try too. 11 seasons. We keep it down out of here. Why, why do I keep any ability to. Give him in a rope, a rope. Oh no! I think I know what's about to happen. That guy over there has the keys. No! How can you be sure? I found this in the office. That boy in the photo worked here. The keys being on him is as good a bet as we can make. Yeah. Damn I agree. it! Just need to figure out how to get out there and get them. You wouldn't need long, right? Nah, just a few seconds. Maybe there's a way to distract them and buy you some time. Let's be honest, bruh. Let's be honest. Is this old dude's heart really that necessary? If it was up to me, eh? Yeah. This man. 
Does that make me a bad person? <laughs> Bruh, I'm about to go risk my life for these sets of keys that are in the middle of like, what, 10 zombies? I got one fire axe. There's more of the tin. If you telling me, I can hold on. Let's look at all the options real quick. Board it up. All right, let's try this. You think that'll work? Nope. Think you can do anything with this? Huh? You know what I could do? What's that? What? Throw it at? <laughs> Universal. I could program it to work with those TVs across the street. Let's just hope the power is still on. You can just do that? I memorized all the codes when I was in AV. Let's try. Well oh. fucking done, Doug. All that dork nonsense might save a life. Who's to say it already hasn't? So. Got a few of them to take notice. But not enough. Bored already. Did you guys try to get in there and get weapons? I did, but it was too risky. And then a bunch of guys showed up and they tried. And what happened? I think they're most of who you see wandering around out there. Great. Those TVs are on, and I'm sure they're making a lot of noise behind that glass. Man, that's a hasty fortification job over there. Yeah, it didn't work. And I'm gonna have to break this lock? I, I know he knows it. He knows the code. Shouldn't have to break the lock. Oh, wait. Those TVs are on. And I'm sure they're making a lot of noise behind that glass. It's a combination lock. A few seconds of searching and we'll know if he has the keys. Can you grab the brick? It's right there. I can't reach that brick. should think about searching that guy across the street. Maybe he has them, but who knows if he actually worked here. I just showed you the photo. It's a, it's a spit image. What do we do? Doug, you want to get this door open? About that. You've got the combo, right? No. Did anyone ever have it? Look, man, there were a lot of those things trying to get in here. And now we can't get back out onto the street. Oh, a combination lock is the best lock for an intense fire moment. code violations. One right, one left, one right, pass zero. <laughs> a lot of work. I'm gonna have to break this shit with a with an X. Bro. <sighs> Use the room. Open, open sesame. <laughs> I was kidding. I didn't think you would it's say universal, that. universal, but not that universal. I know, Doc. All right. Okay. Awesome. Now to distract. How the fuck was that not loud enough? Carefully. I might be overthinking this shit, man. I'm thinking that that shit would be mad loud. Like that would be mad loud. What at the window? Good aim, good aim, good aim, good aim, good aim, good aim. Oh, I got pink eye. Now's the go. time. 
right. Oh, time to see if he has the keys. Run! Be careful. Keep an eye out, will you? Are you yelling? I got to do this now, man. I got to do this. Oh my god, why'd you miss? Say this, not how that works. <laughs> the head, the, the brain. Aim for the brain. Oh my god, you're, you're making this worse on yourself. You're making this worse on yourself. Aim for the brain. <sighs> how many scalps did you take today, bro? You're amazing. What the hell are you doing here? Nice for for you. That's the door to the pharmacy. We should be able to find pills for Larry in there. Someone was empty. Oh no. Oh shit. We gotta hurry. Is there an alarm? Again. Is this dude's heart worth it? Doc, come on, maybe time to go. I'm gonna get the truck pulled up right back. Do it fast. I gotta get my dad out of here. I don't plan on dealing, oh, Dalian. Damn, bunch of damn. Why don't into the office and barricade the living hell out of the door behind me? Glenn, when you hear me honking in the alley, start getting people out of here. You got it. Doug, Carly, and Lee, you guys make sure our defenses stay up till then. Lee, I better take that axe in case I run into any of them on the way to my truck. Here you go. I that door's not locked better anymore. Actually, Shit. use it. You three, get on it. I'll get back as fast as I can. I stay away from the windows. Hey, Lee. If we don't make it through this, you should know that I think you're a great guy. Thank you, bud. We'll make it through this! Doug, if we don't make it through this, you should know. I should know what? I was about to say. You said I should know the was about to say. Are you sure? Oh shit! Okay then. 
mean, it... Can you look for something to stick in between the handles? Something real strong, okay? Okay. The fire axe. Clementine, did you find anything? Nothing! Wait! The window is through! Go! Okay. Oh, I found something. No! Get out of uh, uh, Why would you put your back to an open window? You got a gun, bitch. You got a gun. I'm sorry, bro. If she gets bit, save. Yeah, yeah, save Doug, bro. She's got a gun. If she doesn't use it, holy! Let's go. They got Carly. What the no! fuck, bitch? I saved your life! I'm not letting somebody else get eaten today. What kind of Especially bullshit? Especially a good friend. Listen, y'all. <laughs> it's clear to me now that it's clear to me now that when there's an option to save one out of two people, I need to pick the person that I want to live because apparently the other person's gonna die. I would have I would have gone for Carly if I had known that she was out of bullets. Let's be honest. But also Doug did help me out. So it's like it's a, it's kind of a bad decision either way. Same with the fucking same with Herschel's son. It's like would you rather save the kid? Or save like even though I know even though Ducky's a little annoying I would still go for the kid first before you know what I'm saying that's just intuition right so now 
between Doug and Carly, you got Doug, who's clearly like was an idiot. Let's be, be fair. Like, like survival instincts weren't there, but he is smart as far as technology goes. And Carly couldn't figure out how to put batteries in the radio, so so maybe this is a good decision. <laughs> but she's a good fucking shot at the end of the day. But she did run out of bullets. So, I don't know, bro. Situational side there. Doug was gonna die, I knew for sure. And Carly, I assumed she had at least one bullet. I wasn't expecting a second zombie to show up. So... You can't blame me for that. One. You can't blame me for that. One. <sighs> oh boy. And also, I did all this to save Larry and his bitch ass want to want to want to knock me out so that I get killed. I I'm telling you, Larry's racist and I think he likes kids, bro. Uh uh Hey, Glenn. Accountable severe emergencies in all counties. Georgia cities and their current level of disaster are as follows. Atlanta, stage nine catastrophe. Augusta, stage I think I need to go. To Atlanta? Yeah. I got friends there. And I just can't stay here knowing that they could be trapped in that city. Sounds like nobody knows what's happening there. When we left a few days ago, could have gone either way. I gotta take my chances. Sure. Don't look at me. Don't look at me. I think you're making the wrong call. Maybe. But I'd rather make the wrong call and no than make the right call and not. I respect it. You guys be safe. We'll try. I'm so, I'm so, I'm so upset. <laughs> Wasted all that time finding keys to save this dude's life. Uh, and he wanna send a right hook to my jaw. Did you check the glove box? I swear I'm I assuming if I didn't I can't. tell Kenny to punch him, call back there. then maybe Thanks he wouldn't have punched me. Up. But I'm no also problem. thinking he would have punched me regardless. Take care of each other. Because he's yeah, racist. We do. Hey, about Clementine. Yeah? Earlier I said there's some stuff out there that might screw up a precious little girl like her. You did. Well, I still think that's true. But after what I saw today, I think between you taking care of her and her taking care of herself, you two are gonna be just fine. Thanks, Kenny. I mean, it's no avoiding it now. You got it. You got it, dude. Did you check the glove box? I swear I saw it. You never pay attention to where you leave things. Oh man, check this out. Alright. Can you just look over there? How you doing, Doug? Doug. We couldn't save her, could we? I don't think so. Apparently not. It happened pretty fast. I. I know it's stupid. We just met. It's dumb. But I mean, it's, it's probably just that survivor thing. Survivors go like her. She liked you too. Thanks, Lee. Anyway, I'd rather be alone, I think. I understand. Wait, Lee? What is it, buddy? How did you choose? I mean, we both needed you. You picked me. <laughs> I didn't. I guess it doesn't matter. I just wish you would have picked her. I, I couldn't read those fast. I, <laughs> I couldn't read them that fast. <laughs> I'll put them right in this front pocket. And then you have to go and move them. 
Oh man, check this out. The Dumatron had this minigun on his shoulder. It's all like pow, pow, pow. I thought Super Dinosaur was toast. What do you like that? But you know what? He wasn't. Oh, and then. Hey, Doc, uh, you want to come look for a minute? Okay. Sorry. We're not exchanging blows right now. Oh, 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 like I'm sorry. Bunch of kids here. No, it's not that. It's I got grabbed again. I was there though. Oh, I boy. fell, and my walkie-talkie broke. Glenn had the other one. Oh, I'm sorry. Thanks. I know I need to be tough. I'm just sad. I know it doesn't make any sense, but it's how I used to talk to my mom and dad. And now they're gone. It's gone. Maybe we can find you another one. I'll just keep this one, I guess. Lee, come here for a second. No! Let me go deal with this. You see how his, his oh, shit's man. in red? Clementine, another thing. Uh, Ducky, shut up. What do you want? You like my daughter? Shut the fuck up! I don't know! Her dad tried to kill me, so... Well, he did that because he knows that Lee Everett is a convicted murderer. And so will everyone else if you go near her. You hear me? I know who you are, and I don't give a shit about what happens to you. But if anything happens to my daughter or that little girl you've got with you, you watch your ass. I'm gonna shoot you first. Yes. Hey, Lee, do you have a second? Fucking racist. <laughs> I'm sorry. Was, my dad I'm, I'm would be dead if it weren't for you. That reporter is dead because of me. You can't be like that. You're only one man. We're lucky to have you. I hope that's the sound of us winning this thing. Sam? Me too. Man. This motor in's pretty damn defendable. We block off the entrances with some cars, keep someone on watch. We could stay here until the military rolls through. I actually agree with that plan. Me too. We got beds, we got water, and most importantly, we got light. There are worse places to call home. Yeah, you're right. You know, guys, I think it's going to be okay. Famous last words. Oh, all right. Next time, Walking Dead. I thought we'd be fine if we survived the walkers. Never expected they'd starve us out. You look like crap, Lee. When was the last time you ate? Keep it. I, I got hey, I owe you a lot more than a half-eaten candy bar. Take it. How you doing, Clementine? I'm really hungry, Lee. We gotta get food, Lee. Soon. What I don't have any. Howdy! I'm Andrew St. John. We're from the St. John Dairy. It's beautiful. I never did thank you for saving Duck from the Walkers back at Herschel's farm. Something's coming, Lee. There's gonna be a war. The Walkers don't worry me as much as the bandits. You fuck with us! Now we're gonna take what we want! There's too many of them! Yeah! Ah, damn! Ah! No more, please! 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 <laughs> Wait, I lied to Herschel? What did I say that was a lie? 82% saved up. I mean, Side with Kenny. Okay. Gave Irene the gun. Refused. Doug or Carly. See, look, it's 50 50 for Doug or Carly. <laughs> All right, y'all. That's going to be the. the uh, that's going to be it for, for episode one. Uh, you know what, bruh? <laughs> 
I think that the objective of the game is to not get too attached to the characters, right? So whatever decision I make, I'm not going to think too heavily about the consequences unless it's like unless it's like an obvious like L, you know what I'm saying? Um Yeah, that's going to be it. It's going to be it for episode 1. Uh if y'all like what y'all saw, if y'all like the longer videos, the the, 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 the shorter edits, you know, the, the small amount of edits, stuff like that, there's gonna be some cuts here and there, but um, if y'all like this style of video, let me know, like button. Uh, yeah, that's gonna be it, man. I'm gonna see y'all in episode two. Like I said, we're doing all episodes and all seasons. So it's gonna be a long, it's gonna be a long run of, of, of The Walking Dead, bro. But uh, yeah, thank y'all for watching. If you made it this far, I appreciate it. We'll see y'all in the next video, man. Peace!